See if they make him defend. When TCU played West Virginia. Whoa, starting off with a bang. Mike Antico down the first baseline and into the corner. And he will lead off with a double first pitch swinging. For rules, but he's been a regular since. Was a freshman All-American, and he drives one towards right center. Nunez diving attempt past him. Total yard sale. Glasses gone. Hack gone. Antico home. And Zubia headed for third with a stand-up triple. All right, so how about this? Zach Zubia, not exactly known for his speed. He's known just for the raw power. He doesn't get all of this one. It's not the best route right there either in center field by Nunez. You can see him try to come back at the end. The Texas offensive approach got him there. They know Smith's going to throw a lot of strikes. That's what he's done all season. We talked about the control. Tonight, Lufton Stadium, Fort Worth. Swing and a miss, and Smith battles back with back-to-back -back K's, but the Longhorns showing the lumber early in part of the Keep turnaround, and he's going to chop it to the left side. Nice work by Williams. Has to recover. Throws it away. Humphreys will turn and head to second. Williams did good to reach it. Then everything went wrong. Hits is now off. Stolen a base of third. Madden never saw him. And Zach Humphreys takes an easy 90. With a double major management and marketing, and he sends a seed into right field. That'll bring home Humphreys, and the error comes back to bite Texas here in the first. RBI knocked Gene Wood, tied at one. Looked to be a routine one, two, three inning for Madden. Gets the ground ball. Williams throws it down the right field line. Inning continues, and now Gene Wood puts a good swing on a fastball that. Look to be down and in. They were trying to go down and away. Just drops the head of the bat on it. TCU answers with one of their own the first. Payoff again. Grounded to the left side. Faltini bobbled. Threw it low. Got him! And that's how the inning will end, apparently. The low first angle. We were blocked just a little bit to see exactly when the ball went in the glove but I got him on the bag there and white outside the leather there it is we're going to keep playing here in the first inning happy hour is a long place chopper Faltini will step on second to end the inning now for Silas Ardwan in a 1-1 game in the second and he takes that one just to touch high and by the twins back in the 60s Reach for it, put on the ground. Rodgers has it. And that'll close the Texas second. First two get on. They can't bring them in. Back to back five inning starts. Madden notches another K. That's his second. He works a lights on Sports Center. And Melendez sends this one to center. Elijah Nunez can't find it. No idea where the baseball is. He's not the only one. Finally rushing in was Philip Sykes in right field after the ball. Apparently it hit the grass. And Melendez is standing at third. Trip through the batting order. Here's the 3-2. And it's shot to right field. Into the glove of Philip Sykes. Runs have come in the last 25 games. And he takes a walk. TCU leads the nation in walks. Gow. Wow. In this weekend. This one clearly is as well. D1 baseball projections coming into this week. The one two. Baltini ropes it to left field. It is into the corner off the fence. Boyers digs it out. Ardwan has scored, and Texas reclaims the lead on a Trey Faltini double. Batter right here. Bottom of the lineup for Faltini. That doesn't look like a kid that's hitting 230, I'll tell you that. That's a pretty good pass at it. Playing him shallow and left. Not enough time for Boyers to get over and cut this one off. Soft line drive snared by Sacco. 
Here's Connor Shepard, his first plate appearance, and he drives it deep to right center field. It is past the reach of Antico. Motoring to second, turn it for third. Lolly popped in, the fire to third. Got wide, and it's a leadoff triple for Connor Shepard. First pitch that he saw tonight. And he's been fairly efficient today. Breaking ball poked to the right side. That'll get a run home, and we are tied at two. We good work. Be traveling to Greenville, North Carolina. ECU could be in hosting position. That one down the line, past Zubia. Hunter Wolf will chug towards second. Second extra base hit of the inning. It's a double for the TCU DH. Wolf dancing off the bag. This one's belted to right field, pushing Hodo back at the fence. It is in his glove. Catch made by Douglas Hodo. They keep that one in the park and in the inning. Hodo steals one, gets the horns back in the dugout. Another former big leaguer on the staff. Ground ball sliding stop made. Sacco's throw just late. And Mitchell Daly reaches to start the fifth. In there, in there. Ground ball to the right side. That one pokes through. Daly will stop at second. And Melendez has his second hit of the game. Ball four. Bases loaded and one out. One two pitch. Pull down the third base side. It will get through the hole. Daly scores. Melendez stopped after a stumble coming around the bag, and it's an RBI single for Silas Ardoin. Leadoff walk in the fourth came around to score, now base is loaded. Gets that sinker in the inside part of the plate, just puts it in a spot that nobody can get to. Playing pretty true up the middle. And pulls it into the six hole. First hit of the day for Ardoin is an RBI. Down the line, picked up by Taylor. Rodgers for one on to first. Got him! One of the fastest guys on the field. And Hodo out on a double play. Tommy Sacco at the plate. Bounces off Zubio. No recovery in time. One last thought on the Texas fan up there. His, his buddy sitting next. Come on, Rocker's gone five. On the ground, chance for two. Daly shovels the Fultini on the first for a 4 6 3. 1974. Five pitch. This ball is laser to left past Sacco's reach. And there's two on. And this one's hammered to left field. It's down in front of Boyers. Antico will motor home. It's a run scoring single for Zubia. Who's two for four tonight. He was just two for 12 against TCU with five strikeouts in his career coming into this. You know the pitch before is exactly where he'll wanted to throw the slider. This is not exactly where he wanted to throw it inside to Zubia. He had seen this location earlier in the at bat. And the third of three sliders in a row catches too much of the plate. Zubia singles to left, his second hit of the game. After two quick outs to start this inning. Two out walk, the single by Daly, now an RBI single by. Breaking ball lifted to right. Rogers back, Sykes in. That will end the inning. Another couple stranded. Four pitch walk. Into left center field, down for a hit. Sykes will score. Hunter Wolf has his second hit of the game. Threw him, got away, but Wolf won't go any farther. He's two for three, and TCU's made it a one run contest. This is a big time at bat because he fought off a few tough ones from a kid that's probably going to hear his name called in the middle of the first round this year. Hunter Worth fouled off a slider earlier, fouled off a fastball straight back, now gets a slider. Here's the 0-2 to Luke Boyers. Hit him! Taco one for two tonight. Swings at the first, sends it to left center field, that is into the glove of Antico! 
Third out of the inning, and TCU strands a pair. Even Antico had to look into that glove and make sure that he got it. Range into his right, lays all the way out. Now a peek right back at it to make sure it's still in there, and it was. That saves extra bases, and that keeps the lead right here for Texas. Pardon me with the Phillies. Pitches in the dirt. They'll throw down to first to finish off the strikeout. Couple of K's for Drew Hill. A dynamic TCU offense. And a drag bunt, perfectly placed. Nunez goes head first and he beats the throw. Whether he's out there or not, they've been another great season. Laser to right field. Nunez on his way to third, goes back to the bag. The shortstop, Faltini slipped trying to come in to get in line for the cutoff. That one got to the backstop. Both runners will advance. Tying run 90 feet away. Curveball lifted to center field. Antico there. Nunez looking to tag. Catch made. Here comes Nunez. The throw goes to third. Everybody's safe on a sack fly from Humphreys. We're tied at four. Runner third. Swing and a miss. Two down. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball. Back to back K's after the sack fly. Witt retires all three. He's faced. And this ball is looped into right center field. Sykes won't get there in time. It's gone. And Tico at the home run with two outs in the eighth, and Texas has the lead. Eighth home run of the season. And the Longhorns in front again. St. John's transfer got a slider that is right into that left-handed swing path, and he got enough of it. 1-1 one, one to Wolf. Chopper. It's behind the back, scooped by Feltini, and too late. Infield single for Hunter Wolf right up the middle, his third hit of the game. On the mound for Texas, and this ball is lined into left center field. It'll drop. Wolf stops at second. Two on with one out. TCU trying to piece something together here in the eighth. Popped him up. Foul territory, Williams. Bad route, saved by Feltini. And TCU strands a pair in the eighth. Ben strikes and nobody's been anywhere close. Through the hole. Three hit game for Ivan Melendez. The six straight sliders, a single. Yes. Through the hole on the right side. Melendez to second. And Texas has runners at first and second with one out. Boy, an insurance run would be huge for Texas. Two to Hodo. Caught a piece of it down the line. Smothered by Taylor. No play. And Texas has loaded the bases. The three TCU win. Bases loaded. Bunt with the bases juiced, and Ridings gets it to first. Looking for some left and magic. Ball four. Line drive right field. It's down. Taylor stops at second. TCU in business with two on and nobody out. L2. Swing and a miss. The freshman Nixon notches the first out of the ninth. Nixon's 1-1. Swing and a miss at a pitch in the dirt, but it got to the backstop. Taylor moves to third. Humphreys follows him to second. And a winning run is 90 feet closer. Two to Sykes. Chase another breaking ball. Two down. Back-to-back -back K's for Nixon. A 1-2 pitch to Rodgers. In the air, left field. Kennedy has plenty of space. 
Texas holds on for a one-run victory to start the series.